get started. Uh, so this water is really muddy. I knew it would be muddy. So the two colors I'm going to start with is banana pepper and a uh, grenada bug. And on my other long rod, what I have is downsized versions. Uh, bait that's a little smaller than uh, what these two are and you see that I picked something I think that's champ the color champ and I got a grenada bug in uh, the BA stinger which is a smaller profile bait and on my other two rods I can cast to these fish so that's basically my two setups uh, for uh, fishing for these crappies. And basically what I'm doing, I'm gonna, I'll fish some uh, suspended fish. I really think that I'm going to find the biggest fish held, holding really tight on stump. So, hey, let's get started. Well, not the biggest crappie in the world, but he is a crappie. He's, he's probably pushing nine and three quarters, almost ten inches. I'm going to tell you what I did on this fish. This fish sit there and I run that bigger bait right over top of his head three times. He didn't even turn and look at it. I switched to the BA Stinger, a little smaller profile bait. Boom, he turned right on it. And uh, anyway, there's crappie everywhere scattered. They're down on the bottom, they're around stumps, they suspended, they're moving around and they, they just, it's no rhyme to the reason, they just all over the place. So. Uh, on the live scope, if you fish live scope, I'm trying to pick out the bigger signatures. I'm not dropping on everything that I see. And a lot of fish are active. And a lot of times you drop, they moving, you know, they moving before you can get down to them. Now, the one thing that I did, I have a, 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 a dropper rig. This one is pretty light. That's a, that's like a 148th there. And that's like a 32nd on the bottom. So it takes this smaller one little while longer to actually get down there but hey, we're gonna keep plugging around here and literally this is not like literally i can look around about anywhere and sit right here and throw and cast to a fish that's just how many fish is actually in here there's a lot of activity bass it could be white bass too in here swimming around that's very highly possible and it's just basically so if you were someone who liked to troll uh, lures you could definitely come here and uh, definitely make a showing okay here goes my approach so I'm drifting fairly quickly and we've got a crappy at 14 foot so I'm gonna basically just stop I'm gonna try to stop the boat I'm going to pitch straight out, and hopefully I hit just behind the fish, and I did. So it's dropping, dropping. So now I'm going to control that fall with my rod. Get him in the net. Ah. Another good one. Now they everywhere. There he is right there. Boom. I'm gonna keep him, take a picture with him. Later. Hey, they they all over the place. They everywhere down through. Yeah, no, they they every they just scattered everywhere. Oh boy, it's been dry. It's been dry, y'all. That's another good one. A uh, boom. Good gracious. He hit that grenada bug and that BA stinger. That's been the ticket today, right there. That smaller bait all day today. Boom.
These fish down here at this bridge has been fooled with so much, they spooky. They, they are spooky. I'm getting close to them, they moving off. And back up the river, they won't as bad, but down here, they are spooky. Yeah. I guess there's been so many of them fishing them down here. I have a buddy of mine come up here, he said two weeks ago, sitting around the middle pile and they caught 70. Yeah, but they won't good quality fish though probably small he said a lot of small ones but he said he caught some pretty decent ones too yeah i mean i've caught some good fish today like that one but it's that time of year Dennis, you see that? I didn't net that fish. I should have on that little video number six hook. Kaboom! <laughs> Boys, I tell you, this is just too much fun right here. Good gracious life. Now that fish don't weigh a pound, but I'm gonna guess he weighs probably over three quarters. I'm going to see. Seven, seven, four. Zero point seven, four. He weighs almost three quarters of a pound. Good fish right there, y'all. So if you're fishing live scope, it don't matter whether you're fishing, you know, a live scanner or something that points that did you notice how high i had my rod the current is pushing me down the river i don't have crappy brakes so i don't want to run my trolling motor that fish was only like six foot deep and close to me he was getting closer all the time so you can use your rod you know a lot of guys have long rods this is 11 foot uh, rod and so what i elect to do to bring the bait in closer is not back up with the pole but to raise the pole higher and higher, I can see my bait and then I can just drop it straight down onto the crappie. Vice versa, instead of if the bait is right over a crappie's head, let's say for instance, I know you can see the end of my rod. Let's say for instance, I still need two more feet to get right down on the crappie. All right, instead of flipping the bale, I just lower the rod tip, lower the rod tip, lower the rod tip, lower the rod tip. I stick my rod all the way down in the water, two or three feet, just to get that bait presented right on top of his head. In about angles, since I don't have crappy brakes, let's say my live scanner is pointing back to the side of the boat, you learn to, uh, and that's, that's with practice, you'll learn to pitch out into that beam where that crappy is to the right or to the left, like this. I can pitch this bait if I pendle it just like this, I could pitch that bait. That's almost at the back of the boat. It's about 15 feet away and at the right angle. And that's just so I don't have to use my trolling motor. If you got crappy brakes, of course you can turn the boat and you can get more precise on top of the fish. That's the nice thing about that. But you're looking at a, another, you know, couple of thousand dollars or maybe four thousand i don't know y'all can tell me how much crappy breaks it is i don't know but anyway oh boys i got a good one dennis i gotta get the net dennis i gotta get the net he's an old pig he's an old pig come here big boy oh good gracious Good, gooba goo. That fish right there, boy. Uh, uh. What did the little boy say on Christmas morning? Santa Claus done brung it to me. Yes, sir. What do you think that fish weighs, y'all? Take a guess. I'm going to weigh him. I'm going to say he weighs a pound. I'm going to say he weighs a pound. 
and I'm gonna say he weighs a pound and six ounces. One forty eight, y'all. One forty eight. It's a good fish right there. It'd be a good tournament. Well, if I was fishing the tournament, I'd be right today. Guys, we're going to end the video on that fish right there. That's a good one to end on. So we went over a lot of things today. What I look for when I come to the river, looking for crappie in the fall. It is a very easy method to find fish. They're concentrated. They're not in the big portion of the lake. They're down in that river. It's a little easier to find them. That's why I enjoy it. fishing this time of year. And they're feeding up for the winter, too. Uh, so they bite. Very good. Click the like button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And you remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Guys, you remember, it's a wild life. And I'll see you on the water. <laughs>